Hey everybody, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. In this video today, I want to make sure you are maximizing your revenue with AdSense by using their responsive ad units that they announced a couple of months ago. Now, it may sound confusing, but really all it means is let's just say you're using the 728 by 90 leaderboard on your site like I'm using on this test page I just put together. I'm not really using this on my site, but this is just for the sake of the video. Um, and somebody goes and views your website on their smartphone. Well, obviously this size is not going to work on a smartphone. So what the responsive units will do is they will automatically resize based on the size of the person's browser, just like a website. And hopefully you have a responsive website. Now responsive just means the site adjusts depending on, you know, what browser size the person is using. So when I shrink down my site, watch the left nav disappear. When it gets small, the header is going to get smaller and everything kind of just comes down to one nice, neat little column. So if you're viewing my site on an iPhone, this is what you're going to get. So you don't have to pinch and zoom and you want the same thing for your AdSense ads. So that's really what this is all about. Now I use the Studio Press Pros theme. That's a responsive design. I am a proud affiliate of Studio Press. I think they have amazing designs and they have a lot of other responsive themes as well. But there's also Headway, there's Elegant Themes, Theme Force. There are a ton of different companies out there that make responsive themes. So if you haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet, you might want to because more and more people are now using um, smartphones to browse the web and I know I personally get tired of having to pinch and zoom to read people's websites. You go to my ads you're gonna click that and then choose new ad unit give a name for it and then come down here to add size and you're gonna choose responsive ad unit and as you can see it's in beta and then you just fill out all of your other options and then click save and get code copy that code where your old AdSense code was and boom you're done. Now you might be wondering why didn't the ad resize when I just shrunk down the window because it doesn't work when someone tries to manually resize the window, which is fine because nobody does that anyway. But if you were to view this page on your phone, you will see a smaller unit. And in fact, I took a picture of my iPhone so you can see what this page looks like on my phone. And you can see that AdSense automatically served up a smaller unit. Okay, and one more thing, I have to make this clear. The code that AdSense generates by default is for the 728 by 90 leaderboard only. So if that's the size you're using, you don't have to edit the code at all. But let's say you have a 468 by 60 unit in your content area. You obviously don't wanna show an, a banner that large in that spot, you won't have room. So you're gonna need to adjust this line here. So what this line is saying without getting too terribly technical, if the minimum width of the browser is 800 pixels, then show this size ad. Well, if you don't have space for that, you're gonna have to adjust this. So we're gonna show a lower size ad and it has to be one of the AdSense standard sizes. You can't just put any number here. So now this is set to only show a 468 pixel ad at the maximum. Does that make sense? And actually you could probably even get, well, let me, let's just stop there. I don't want to get too technical. This works just fine. I did test this out. And so now AdSense is only going to show this maximum size in this space. You know what I mean? So de depending on your design, you're going to have to adjust these numbers. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, of course, you can wait until they're out of beta and all you have to do is just choose, you know, the maximum size of your window or whatever, and then just grab the code. But I just want to make sure you understand that the default code is for the leaderboard. And if you're using it for, let's say, a smaller space, you will need to adjust these numbers. And if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. So... I hope that was helpful, you guys. Good luck with your responsive units, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.